Okay, folks, we're going to continue uh, with the Butler players. Uh, we have Tyler Weidman, Keelan Martin, and Kamar Baldwin. Uh, John Dedman, the Sports Information Director for Butler, uh, in case anyone who was not a, did not know him, uh, he can help you with anything over the course of the next few days. But uh, we'll open the floor to questions for the student athletes. Over here. Yeah, Kumar, this is Bob Kravitz with NBC in, in uh, Indianapolis. Arkansas likes to likes to trap. They like to do a lot of things, uh, speed you up. How do you how do you go about dealing with that? And what sorts of experiences have you had throughout the season that will help you deal with the pressure? Uh, I would say uh, first thing is obviously taking care of the ball, uh, you know, uh, within the game. Uh, but just attacking um, when we do get out of those traps, um, you know, just handling it. And um, the experience we had, uh, I would say a little bit of Villanova in the um, uh, Big East tournament game. Uh, they kind of played a little of the same way, uh, aggressive denying. But um, so I think that prepared us well uh, for this game coming up. Uh, folks, just before we go on with questions, just a reminder, we are, uh, you're not allowed to video in here. If you want to uh, capture video, there's spots in the back to do that uh, through Hammond Communications. Um, and also, please identify yourself in your outlet when uh, asking questions of the student athletes. Down here in the front. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette newspaper. Hey, last year, Arkansas played Carolina. If they'd won that game, they would have played you guys in Memphis. When you were watching the Carolina-Arkansas tape, getting ready for last year's game. Did you guys notice anything about Arkansas? Did you, did, did you get a sense for what a, what a tough loss that was? Because they've kind of talked about that being a driving force for them all year. Is that for anybody? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so why don't, Keelan, why don't you start with that? Um, yeah, they were, I just noticed that they, they played hard and they were tough. Uh, they, didn't, they never gave up. And, uh, you know, they got a lot of guys with experience. So, um, I mean, if we would have played them, it would have been a great experience, you know, just to, just to see that pressure that they have defensively. Hi, Nick Petrovich, Toledo Blade. Um, you guys lost your entire coaching staff pretty much overnight in June. And for Tyler and Keelan, I was kind of wondering, when that happened, what was your first reaction? And then what about your new coaching staff kind of let you guys not miss a beat this season? Um, uh, I think it was uh, when it happened that um, it, we were surprised, but then we uh, understood why it happened. And um, I think uh, being here all four years, I mean, we had, we've been through, I think, three or four coaches, however many it is. So, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't something that we didn't already go through. So we knew that we still had our teammates to count on to uh, be there. And then regardless of who the coach was, the program was still going to run the same way. Tyler, Paul Oren with the Northwest Indiana Times. As a senior leader then with the, with the coaching staff coming in, what did you have to do to, to keep the younger guys on pace? Uh, I mean, uh, myself and uh, the, the other older guys on the team that had already been there, uh, we just had to show them the way that uh, Butler was ran for the most part as far as academics and athletics. Um, I mean, everybody in the program does a good job of making sure everything stays, the, stays consistent from the – 80 down to uh, the academic advisor. So everybody does a good job of keeping everybody in line. Free press. Um, how is uh, your coach different from other coaches you had? What, what, how would you describe his coaching style? That for me? Um, I would say he's probably the youngest coach I've had. So I mean, uh, He's a player's coach. He understands stuff that's going on and um, I do not race for the most part. So, I mean, uh, he's a player's coach. He's uh, easy to talk to. So, uh, I like the coach staff that we have. Keelan, uh, actually, Keelan and Kamar and uh, Tom Davis, Fort Wayne News, News Sentinel. Um, on drivers with Gafford, he comes from the weak side. He's long. Uh, much like Texas, St. John's, Georgetown, some other teams that you guys have had to drive the ball against. What problems does he present with, with his length and his ability to come off that weak side and block shots? Uh, he averages like two and a half to three blocks a game. So we just have to just get in there and draw shot fakes, you know, and then 
if we just put it up, I mean, we crashed the offensive glass, and that's, that's a strength of ours. And, I mean, he's, he's a good player, and he's a good defender, so he can protect the rim very well. Hi, uh, Bo Mattingly in the back here, Sports Talk in Arkansas. Kamar, start with you if anybody else wants to answer it. For anybody who doesn't understand what kind of team Butler is, how would you describe from your perspective your basketball team and what you guys are made of? Uh, I would say we're a group of tough um, guys that, um, that like to get the job done. Uh, no matter how we do it, uh, we're going to get it done. Um, like our motto, uh, we're gritty, not pretty. So um, we're ready to fight and uh, ready to work hard. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, we we get after it uh, defensively, and we have a lot of a lot of guys that bring different intangibles to the team. And we just you know we just go out and play hard, and we surprise a lot of people. Down in front. Yeah, I was going to ask uh, Keelan and Tyler about, about Gafford. Not, you know, obviously he's a good defensive player, but what do you think of his offense? He's, he's been making strides pretty good, and, and um, he's a guy that's gotten in foul trouble. Do you feel like that would be a big part if you guys can get him in foul trouble? Uh, to be honest, I never really watched him offensively. I didn't ever heard of him until um, we scouted him. But uh, that's our goal, just to, you know, attack, attack the paint and just try to get easy scores. Offensively. Other questions for the student athlete? Drew Ammon with the NBC in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, I'll go to Kamar on this one. Um, Jorgensen, what does he bring as far as helping out the supporting cast? Uh, Paul, he's a great guy. You know, New York, um, he brings a, a source of energy for us, you know. Uh, New York, he just he just wants to play, play hard. Um, you know, come off scoring, defense, whatever the team needs. Uh, that's what he's going to do for us. So he's been great to have this season. Hey, Bo from Sports Talk again in Arkansas, and Keelan, I'll start with you and Kamara if you want to answer. How, how familiar were you guys with Arkansas? You kind of touched on it a second ago, but how familiar were you with them before you got the draw in the tournament? Uh, I actually watched them play against Tennessee uh, in the SEC tournament, and I seen that they played hard. They were physical. Um, they like to get up and down the court, and they just look like a great team. They play together, and they got a lot of uh, older guys. That's all I've really seen. Yeah, same thing he said. Any other questions? All right, gentlemen, you can head out and... Enjoy your day. Congrats on a great season so far. Thanks.